My name is Henry Paymar. I work as an architect here in Stockholm in the Sweco office, and I've been working as an architect for three and a half years. Sweco is a really big company. It features everything from structure, engineering, and architecture. And I work with the design phase of the projects. We had an interest in 3D printing. That's when we got in touch with 3D Verkstam and introduced us to the Ultimaker. We fell in love. We just wanted to bake everything. <laughs> Currently, uh, we're working on a Sri Lanka project. It's uh, Colombo, the main city of Sri Lanka, and it's an addition to the city, which is huge. It's 280 hectares of land, and in there will be 60 to 90,000 apartments, as well as 200,000 office spaces. So, as an architect, it's easy to uh, visualize when you have it in front of you. It's, for me, it's easy to see it in my head, but it's also very easy to just actually touch the model itself and figure out what it looks like from all angles. And so it's much easier to use the 3D printing for this project because it's so detailed. Because of the size of the project, you need to print at a slightly smaller scale to actually be able to get a huge scale model. We heard about the Olsen block through 3D Verkstam, and they were promising faster speeds for us doing architecture. And it's rapid prototyping, getting models out faster. So the different nozzles is very good for the Sri Lanka project. Uh, some parts of the model are very tiny, and then we use the smaller nozzle size. And for some projects that are the bigger ones, we use the bigger nozzle to not make it take days to print. The future of 3D printing is very interesting. I think it's going to be used in conjunction with actual cardboard models, but for projects that we have, it's a very easy to use tool to visualize the models that we have for the clients and also as a tool of building the, the, the models ourselves. 